Hello ladies and gents, Broke here, and welcome to No Normal Films. And today we're going to briefly discuss the latest update for iMovie that was just actually released, um, iMovie Update 10.1.3. And uh, in order to receive this update or get the update, you can go to your Mac App Store. I'm going to go ahead and launch mine right now. And if you go to the far right tab, the Updates tab, double click it, it'll do uh, checking for updates. And more than likely you'll have an update for several applications in hand. If you have uh, Final Cut, you'll have an app update for that. Uh, iTunes, there'll be pro video formats as well for uh, update for pages. And iMovie is the one we're talking about here. Uh, mainly, it adds uh, support for the touch bar, which was just announced uh, at the uh, October 27th. I made a video on that as well. I'll have a link in the description for you guys. But uh, this update, it, it adds support for touch bar and if you don't know what the touch bar is basically it's like a little touch screen that's just below your <laughs> uh screen on your macbook pro basically right where your function keys would be like the f1 f2 f3 instead of having the function keys you would have a touch bar right there and which would allow you to get quick access buttons uh, such as it says right here to uh, picture in picture create uh, green screen split clips as well. In addition, this update covers the ability to delete render files to recover drive space. I believe this is my personal favorite uh, addition within this update. Uh, let's go ahead and open iMovie and I'm going to show you guys just at the top here about iMovie showing you that I am running on the latest version 10.1.3. Now why you might ask this update is one of my favorites. It's because if you go to iMovie at the very top here and you go to preferences they added this new feature here at the very bottom where it says render files uh, and you can hit delete uh, delete render files to free up storage space and if you've used iMovie for a long time this is highly recommended. I do recommend probably running the delete and render files after you're done editing your projects that way you don't lose any of your files or you lose any of your projects but otherwise it shouldn't remove anything besides uh, background render files that are not being used at all anymore and uh, additional thing I did notice in this update uh, one last thing is uh, the title effect and uh, the uh, far away text titles they appear to be ha to have been fixed if you notice I have it one second which is gonna go through the entire text here in one second but then if I make it a lot longer it will actually slow down and last the entire time unlike previously it would just continue going fast through the entire time which I mean <laughs> continue going fast even if you had it expanded to over 10 seconds and uh, so that should be fixed for you guys as well other than that thank you guys for watching this video be sure to leave any questions in the comment section below and later so let my life be